All right, so I took apart the vent solenoid for a uh, 04 GTO to get to it. I'll show you where that is in a second, but it's up underneath the rear um, passenger side fender, right side. I just use ramps to get my car up. I'll show you in a second. But um, to get it apart, it's pretty self-explanatory, but there's these tabs that go over the top of this. Click in, and there's this actuator. And there's the electrical, the plug goes right in there and air comes through from a hose. So basically this is always open until the system wants to close it and it only closes it under certain circumstances from what I read and coolant temperature has to be a certain degrees and uh, ambient air temperature has to be a certain degrees and um, that's when it does its test. But I think the way it works is this is always open. And then when it closes, uh, the front purge solenoid will open and start sucking. And this will allow it to suck all the fumes out of the um, gas tank uh, so it can be burned in the engine. Um, I took it all apart. This was disgusting. And basically the issue I was having was I was getting a P0442 error code. And I've been getting this for a couple years, but I only get it in the winter. And it goes away in the summer, um, maybe something within the winter, something's contracting. Maybe what I'm thinking is the actuator in here, It's uh, maybe this is contracting, getting cold, and that's not able to close shut um, You know, when it gets triggered electrically. I think what's happening is it springs there. This is open right now, and this would uh, trigger close, and I think maybe it's not closing all the way. I don't know. And it's only a $20 part, and uh, you know, I might wind up getting one, but... Due to coronavirus, um, Amazon shipping times is like 30 days. So I figured I'd just figured out how this works, take it apart real quick. I cleaned it up. I sprayed a little bit of silicon spray. Um, this WD-40 silicon lubricant. And you don't want to use normal WD-40 because I read that eats up plastics and it eats up rubber and maybe electrical connections. So I use this silicone and I kind of just sprayed it in there and, and shook it a little bit, hoping it would get down there so that it could uh, maybe lube that up and let that actuator work a little better. There's this little filter. I think it's to prevent maybe like spiders and stuff. It looked like I had little spider webs in here. Um, this little filter goes in there and this goes over top like that over top of that I'm gonna line it up close it back up if I can line it up so it's actually kind of easy to line up there's this little thing right there and he goes up that top so then these just little tabs slide down shouldn't be too hard but there's all around so to open that when I opened it I just had to use a little screwdriver I use that little pry bar right here and I slid it under the tabs and opened it up it took me a minute or two to get it open because there's all these little tabs and they fight you a little bit so that's down this little actuator goes in there you can see this little tab uh, if I could point to it with my thumb right there that just slides in here like this so I got the actuator back on the little canister thing and there's a, a little tab here that locks in to get it off I just use my little pry bar you can use a screwdriver or something this snaps on and this is what keeps the actuator secure it's such a pain to do this with a phone and one hand you could see, even after I cleaned it, it's still pretty dirty. This is all back together. This was actually a little bit of a pain for me to get off. I'll go show you where uh, where it goes in the car and where these, because it's filthy under there, and I was getting all kind of dirt in my face. All right. Ugh. So here's the back. Now, I have an 04, but I converted it to 05 exhaust, so I got the, the split here. And uh, now, if you have an 04, I have this off for the, the split exhaust, but a panel like this 
here would be right here on an 04, but I removed that to put my 05 exhaust system on. Uh, so I could just see right up. So anyone with an 05, 06 will be able to see right up there. Um, but that's where the little connector is. That's where the electrical connector is. Uh, this was actually a bitch to get off. Um, but I used some silicon spray to spray right on here while this was up there because it was been on there for 100,000 miles with all kinds of dirt and crap gritting it up and keeping it on there and it was fighting me to get it off so that silicon spray helped loosen it uh, and let me push out this way towards the front so to get that off you push it off towards the front actually i'm not going to do it right now but this hose it'll be too hard with one hand but this hose goes on there and you just have a little clamp connection that you got to connect and then this plugs right up in the actuator and that actually came out real easy i was surprised when i was getting that off i thought i'd have to spray that with silicone but that's all you got to do to get it back on there and i think unfortunately i'm not going to know if this actually fixes the problem for possibly like eight months until it gets cold again um it's towards the end of march now so it might not be cold enough right now for uh that check engine to come on like i said when it warms up it goes away so i won't even know if it's it's good again until probably like october november so we'll see fingers crossed but this is where that sucker is hope you liked it if you did thumbs up maybe subscribe see ya